hello guys welcome back to another video yes so from the title of this video you already know it's not all that good this glass has been one thing that um it always makes me happy in my house having a full glass door like this it's just amazing you know how the feeling is but now it's no more it has been divided into two from the beginning of the glass work from the window time through the installation of this door i never went for the division type whereby the glass will be divided there's no way i like that thing at all so what happened why did we get to this stage so um before even doing the tiles the glass door had some kind of issues it wasn't straight it wasn't balanced you could see there was a small bend in it so I was always scared they might even, you know, fall down. So I had to call them. They came around, do the necessary thing they were supposed to do to adjust it, to make it well balanced. After three days, it happened again. So just before they were um, about to start the tiles, I called them again and they were like, um, the glass is too heavy. The glass itself is too heavy. That is why. It keeps on doing that so the door can't hold the glass i mean you know the frame around it so the best thing i have to let them do is to divide the glass and i'm like you know from the beginning i don't like that and i'm not sure this is my fault i wanted a full glass so in your case you should have gone for the lights with glass you used 6 mm which is very heavy and now I'm the one to take the blame. It's not my fault. So initially, I didn't even want to pay for the money for the division of the glass, but what else? I paid and um, they did it. I'm not, not, not happy with uh, this division, but for the good sake, I just don't want my door to fall down because it's a swinging glass. So you can push it in and you can pull it out. It opens either way. That is one thing that I really wanted. So, as at that time, this particular door was very expensive. Just because, you know, the two-way opening and exit is super expensive than the one-way. You can pull and you can push. That is the swinging door type. So, for it to be divided, I was not happy. But, you know, I didn't want the glass to for so i had to let them do it and also when you are pulling it it opens very well but when you are pushing it it gets stuck so that is one major problem that i accepted for the division so that at least you know he told me when they divide it and the division comes inside it is going to hold the weight of the glass yes it is going to hold the weight of the glass and um, there's not going to be pressure on it so when you pull or when you push it it can open freely i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but at the end of the video you see what i'm talking about so in that case what we have to do those of you that watch the final part of the toweling you will see that we were only able to pull it but when you push it it doesn't go um, all in so that is the main reason why I had to allow them to divide it so that, you know, at least the division that you can see them doing, it will hold most of the weight of the glass. They did it. They divided the glass into two. You will see everything in the video and they placed it there. Funny enough, once they divided the whole thing, during the whole process, they were having a conversation and they were like, the problem is not the glass. The problem is the frame itself. The whole frame. This is not this frame. The frame that has been already placed at the space. At the door space. The problem is the frame. So I think the best solution was for them to remove the whole frame from the 
space there and you know maybe you might do some cutting at the top so that they raise the frame up in that case it goes up so you know the down there there's not going to be any stuck somewhere you will open and push freely so that was the best thing we were supposed to do so i asked them so are we supposed to remove the whole thing and do a whole cutting all together then you refix the frame and um we'll do um, a dressing all together again like a mason will come and do the dressing and so simple and it's like oh there's no need to remove the frame they know what they will do to adjust it so i was there throughout the whole thing but i left before they completed as soon as i came back nothing has changed it was still the same thing the glass has been divided into two something that i really loved has been taken away but yes so the problem was not solved yes that is what happened the issue wasn't solved so i think what i said earlier on is the best thing that they were supposed to do it doesn't matter you can remove the whole thing from the space there do a whole curtain adjust the main frame for the glass so that it goes up put the glass back then everything is solved that is it because for the pivots down there are length um they have you know longer ones that they can replace but they didn't go for that option they say they can they, they have a technique that they will adjust it then everything is going to be perfect i came back and it's still the same thing nothing has changed yes nothing has changed so you can see them doing the cutting here they were dividing the glass mm -hmm. this is something that i really wanted because um when you are building and you have a vision you get to see the future of the space that is one thing i've always planned during this journey anything before i will even do it i make sure i draw the plan to see how it's going to look like afterwards because when it comes to finishing stage like this every single detail is very very important so having a full glass like this this space here is a living room so the living area here there's a dining area on the other side then you have your you know your sofas and your tv and all those things at the other side also so when you have the full glass like this at least when you are at that particular space it feels very big the full glass complements whatever decoration you are going to use there so it makes that space a whole beautiful thing altogether. when the division comes in it encloses the space what i mean is when you have this division it looks as if um, some regular office door or maybe some um, pharmacy door or you know those kind of outdoor um shops and you know they go for this division or maybe a school door or something so having it in a home i think getting it in a full glass makes it very nice i don't know what you guys think about if it is better than the full glass or what do you think but for me it's a no-no for me the most sad part is the reason why we did this division the problem is still there so in this case I wasted a lot of money to do the pivot door, but yes, still it's of no use. You understand? It's of no use because at the end of the day, I'm going to settle for this, whereby you can only pull. You can only pull to get entry. You can't push it in. Meanwhile, it's supposed to be two way. You can push and you can pull. You understand? That is basically how the glass door is supposed to be. Whereby when you are going inside, you see that you push it inside, then you go, or if you like, you pull it out. It opens both way. Yes. But in this case, we can only do it this way. We can pull it out when you want to enter. When you are inside and also you want to come out, you have to push it so just as you see right now in the video you see the way that they've pulled it out that is the only way you can get access but that wasn't the plan the plan was to go you see that you push it in or you pull out the choice is yours that made this particular glass expensive yes 
because when you use that there are pivots you know the accessory down there that one is way expensive than going for just the one way you understand using the one way is way cheaper than using the both ways because normally this is what they use to do the frameless glass thing you understand yes so the mistake from the beginning is from them first of all they used heavy glass which they were not supposed to use it since i wanted the full frame like this they were supposed to use a lighter weight but they used a heavy one that is the first offense that they did the first mistake that they did in the long run i'm the one to pay for the changes yes after the changes it didn't solve the problem so you've changed the design for the person but yes so the problem is there so what do we have to do now that is one thing I always see. Sometimes all your plans doesn't go well. All your desires might change along the line, but I think it's all part of this building thing. You understand? But for you to, you know, create something or have the vision for something, then it goes south just because of some carelessness of someone I think it's a big no for me you understand so right now if i want to change this whole thing and get back my full glass and have everything sorted what i have to do now is to first of all go and buy a whole sheet of glass i mean they might cut half sheet for you which is about 600 series get a whole pivot accessory all together remove the whole thing do a cutting, they will do the insulation, the mason will come and do the dressing, they will take their workmanship as well. So you might end up wasting like close to maybe 5,000 or 6,000 Ghana cities. If I really want to go back. Yes. Because right now, the two-way entry is not going to be possible. Because when you push it inside, it's going to get stuck just as you see. Yes. So you would have to pull it out. So right now, that design that I wanted is no more. And also, the issue here has not been solved. It is not a problem of the towels. No way. You understand? This brings me to this um, issue whereby I said it would be best if you do your towels before you do your door installation. So let's see if the task has already been done before they will come and do this door installation. What would they do? They will just do cuts and they install it, the space under, everything is perfect. You understand? Before the tiles, the problem was already there. So that even gave the tilers a tough time around that area. Yes. So it is not the tiles or the level that is causing the problem. You understand because there was enough space there for you when you are pulling it out but when you are sending it in it was very bad and as at that time the glass was not straight it had balanced they've come to check about three or four times but yes so it didn't change anything you get it so in that case it has nothing to do with the towels so the best thing we were supposed to do was, was to, you know, remove the whole thing, do a whole cutting all together, refix it, make the dressing, voila, there's no need to divide the glass. But now the glass has been divided and the problem is still there. So what do I have to do? Stick with it. So right now, I don't have the access to push it inside. The two-way entry it doesn't work anymore. It's just one way. You just pull it out, which is fine. But this should tell you how sometimes things might change during the journey. You understand? Because when you are doing something and you always have, you know, the vision or you want to know how the whole thing is, you already know how the whole thing is going to be like. And sometimes it changes some way. You just have to go with it because it's a whole lot of money if you want to re. It's still my own. I'm not doing it for anyone. So at least... Um, I can cope with it. It will take time to adjust with the whole design, but I think we'll pull it through. So it is a small piece of information that you need to know. It always doesn't go the way you want it. 
but there are few things you can do about it you understand so i think that will be all for this video and uh if you have not subscribed please do so and thank you for watching this video bye bye